in darkness they came. Their destination, the Games Academy somewhere out at sea. Their mission, to become games playing legends and to crack the challenge of Games Master. To the jungle in amongst some incredible Disney animation. But you'll have to wait until tonight's final to see that. In the meantime, let's go straight over to the Games Master for the first challenge. Games Master! My first game tonight is a bit of an oddball, Cosmic Spacehead on the Mega Drive. Our two challengers must beat each other into submission with nothing more than a supply of custard pies. Nothing like the delicious flan that our own dear Marisha cooks up, I'm sure. Power-ups appear from time to time to boost your abilities, but otherwise, it's a very simple one-to-one -one bout of slapstick action. So, get planning. So the game's Cosmic Spacehead. Let's welcome our first two contestants. We've got Liam Raven from Liverpool and Mamoru Nomoto from Japan. <laughs> So Liam, the game's Cosmic Spacehead. Have you seen it before? Played it before, yeah. Are you a bit of a Cosmic Spacehead yourself? Fairly good at it, yeah. You're fairly good at it? Yeah. Are you good at it? No trouble. No trouble? Are you going to win? No trouble. You're not scared of him? No trouble. Okay, well, <laughs> looks like our two our contestants are ready. If you want to take your places on the hot seats, we can get your challenge underway. In the commentary box this week is Jerry Doak of Mega Drive Advanced Gaming. Hey, Dexter. How you doing? All right. Hey, so, Cosmic Spacehead sounds like a bit of a weirdo game. No, very simple. Basically, shoot each other, and that's it. You've got uh, Mamaru in the top right hand corner yeah. and Liam in the bottom left. All they have to do is sneak about, fire a few shots, waste each other. Now, remember, Liam's blue, Mamaru's yellow. Let's find out if they're ready. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Off you go. <laughs> Oh, 
He had you running about all over the place there, backing away into corners. What went wrong? His fondness all that and went, bit of generosity. Oh, that's very generous of you, very nice. <laughs> you pleased with that victory? No trouble. It was easy, was it? No trouble. Yeah. So, are you going to come back for the final? No trouble. <laughs> well, that's good news. Let's have a big round of applause for both of our contestants. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now it's time to see what games have risen and what have sunk in the reviews. No trouble. The Imperial Army's hell-bent on overtaking the moon, and only you can stop them in Gunstar Hero. A one or two-player shoot them up to over four different levels, pick up the bonus icons and gun down the enemy. One of my all-time favourite games is Midnight Resistance, but now it's been superseded by Gunstar Heroes. It really is a great blast. It's got tremendous bosses, plenty to shoot. The graphics are absolutely top-notch, and the gameplay is varied. It's got a lot in it and really kept me challenged. Some really nice touches thrown in there. For instance, if you're just standing on a hill, you'll start to slide down it, and the explosions are really spectacular. Well worthy of uh, placing your collection. You've seen the movie, now it's up to you to clear Jurassic Island of deviant dinosaurs. Set over six levels, secure the park, and use the different guns to take out the various species. Then get the hell out of there. Following the plot of the film fairly closely, Jurassic Park is that most rare of things. A film license promotion, which is actually playable. It's got a bit of alien syndrome blasting and a bit of Wolfenstein 3D shooting. It all hangs together beautifully. It's brilliantly professional, and it uses graphics techniques you've never seen on the SNES before. You enter the different buildings, you collect more eggs, eventually you get a pass, and then you go to the 3D sections. Now, the 3D sections, everybody's talking about them. I wasn't all that impressed. Grubs up, or it will be if you can catch the food in Out to Lunch. Control Pierre Le Chef over six countries and 48 levels, grabbing all the ingredients for some top nosh. Avoid the Wicked Chef Noir, though, or you'll end up as the main course. Out to Lunch is a cutesy platformer that probably would have been a wow on the uh, NES, but I feel that the Super Nintendo can do a lot better than this kind of game. Piella Chef travels from country to country, Brazil, Italy, Jamaica, collecting foodstuffs of the world. To do this, he uses his net and stuff like Tabasco sauce, which gives him fiery breath. It's excellent stuff, and the graphical variety is brilliant. It's a, a 90s version of Burger Time. Collect the food, put it in the right place, and skip the level. It's as simple as that, but it's mind-numbingly addictive. Computers and video recorders have sat in separate corners of your living room. But now, Sigma Designs have come up with a real magic card, a board which transforms your multimedia PC into a video player. With this real magic card, you'll not only be able to watch films that are shortly to come out on CD, you can also play with the picture. You could fast forward, <laughs> rewind, stretch the picture, or shrink it if you really want to. But I'm small enough already. And all this at the simple touch of a button. The other thing that it does is it plays a whole new games format, and that has the same quality, near as, near as makes no difference as television, so that you've got a new level of realism in game. The Real Magic card comes with a freebie, the latest in the classic Zork adventure game series, Return to Zork. It's been produced in the same way that a movie is produced, with actors, a script, with... Uh, 
costume design, makeup, everything that goes with the movie. We worked with actors against a chroma key blue screen so that we could put them into a world that we could only imagine and that doesn't really exist. We have 180 locations, we have four mazes, there are 180 music cues, and there are about 50 some odd puzzles. And our expectation is for the good game player should take between 60 and 80 hours to solve the entire Return to Zurich game. Full motion video looks great, but for the upwardly mobile games player, is a good looking video game the most important factor? The Real Magic card gives the games publishers a chance to produce games that look as good as a movie you see on television. But that doesn't necessarily make for a good game. You've got to be able to play it. You've got to be able to control it. If you're just sitting there watching and occasionally moving things, it's not going to be any fun. For £399, the choice is yours. But if you ask me, this classic may not look as hot, but to play, it's worth a million dollars. We've received literally thousands of applications for the Games Master All Formats Team Video Games Championship and we'll be holding auditions shortly. If you've not received an answer to your application, don't worry because we'll be contacting everyone who has entered within the next few weeks. And for those of you who haven't entered, naughty naughty, you can still do so before the 25th of October by writing to this address. Games Master Championship, PO Box 91, London E14 9GT. That's Games Master Championship, PO Box 91, London E14 9GT. Remember, this competition is only only open to teams of three players and the closing date for all applications is the 25th of October. Be lucky. Some golden nuggets of information beam down there for you in the reviews. Now, our celebrities are waiting in the wings, so let's go over to the Games Master to find out what their challenge is. Well, my next challenge is a very special event. The game is Lucky and Wild, a cops and robbers chase direct from the arcades. Okay, let's go. Our two contestants must work as a team to drive and shoot their way to downtown Los Angeles on the trail of a vicious drug dealer. Hordes of evil henchmen must be disposed of on your way. But watch out for innocent bystanders by the side of the road. Complete the level and bust the drug dealer and victory is yours. Fail and you'll pay the price. So, the game is Lucky and Wild. Please give a big warm welcome for our special celebrity guests, Steve Punt and Hugh Dennis, Milky Milky! Good stuff. Uh, so, uh, computer games, do you play them a lot? Uh, in the pub. And uh, no. in my case at home, he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't. He, he, he doesn't. Does. You don't. So how well are you going to do on this challenge? Anyway? Very, very, very badly. He's going to do very badly. I'm going to do really well. Well, you'll be playing together, so you better help each other out. Yeah. That's right. handy. Oh, who's driving? Who's shooting? I'm driving. Oh, I'm, I'm going to shoot. <laughs> Men. <laughs> right, shoot men, lots of men as they come Good. towards you. Right. Good stuff. Right. Cheers, right. So, if you want to see Punt and Dennis blasting it up Miami Vice style on Lucky and Wild, stay with us until after the break. <laughs> our special celebs playing Lucky and Wild because that's what they are. In the commentary box with me, I've got Frank O'Connor of Total Magazine. Hi, Frank. How How's doing? it going, Frankie, baby? So, um, do you want to tell us a bit about this game, please? Well, it's a driving game. You have to drive through the city streets, through yeah. the shopping malls, while your co-pilot has got to shoot everyone and everything that he sees. And he's got to avoid shooting innocent pedestrians as well. But all they've got to do to complete this, really, is get through the first level. So let's find out if our celebs are ready. Are you ready, uh, oh, yes, celeb type people? Yes, oh, yes, thank you very much. Yes. Okay, they are. Let's start the challenge. Off you go, please. Go. Now, Steve's wild and Hugh's lucky. The bus has smashed the windscreen. Oh, dear, man. They've got to shoot everyone and everything they see. Just the nine the green bar. Shoot it. The green bar at the bottom of the screen shows how much energy they have left. Okay. When this reaches zero, they're dead. A bit of damage down there. Now they're receiving. That's their gun sights on there. Now they've both got a gun each. They've got a gun each. Hugh Dennis is driving as well, so he's got lots of worry about Thank you. 
engines, shed the carousels out of the way. I noticed you're shooting some innocent bystanders there. Yes, I did. Yeah. I made down a couple of them. Was that intentional? Yeah, we uh, like to do entirely that. Entirely intentional. Yeah, we like yeah. to do it, yeah. 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 yeah I noticed shoppers, that. I think. They were innocent shoppers. They're they're innocent shoppers. They deserved every second Absolutely. of it. I, I didn't really notice whether I ran any of them down, did I do that? I, I think you did. I, I think you clipped a couple as you went through. I shot them first, so yeah. they, didn't, they didn't feel anything. That was good of you. Shoot them before, yeah, they get run over. Good idea. Well, unfortunately, you didn't complete the challenge, so we're going to have to go to the Games Master to decide your fate. Games Master! I'm sorry, I can't tolerate anyone relishing the killing of innocent civilians. It's off to the furnaces for six months' hard labour. Well, there's the word from the big man on top. I'm afraid it's down to the furnaces with you, lads. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> on your luck and your plans not wild, it's time to seek advice from the Games Master in the consultation zone. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to my tower. What's your small personal difficulty? I'd like to put asteroids on my Mega Drive Games Master. Well, first, let me ask you a question. Do you have the game Megalomania? Um, yeah. Now, this is rather amusing. Go to the password screen and enter the letters J-O-O-L-S. This will take you to a secret bonus game of asteroids, saving your valuable pocket money for whatever disgusting things you spend it on otherwise. Oh, thanks very much. No trouble. Next, please. Games Master, I keep dying at level five of Super Star Wars on the SNES. Can you help? Run through the level and get to the second set of rock platforms. Just have faith in me and walk straight off the cliff. Then hold down left on the dry pad. This will land Luke outside a secret cave. Fire upwards and oodles of extra lives will appear. Thanks a lot. Right, who's my final poor little lamb? Games Master, I keep getting stuck on the first world of Mario All-Stars Lost Levels. Can you help me, please? Please? Go along World 1, Level 2, to the green pipe with the beetle next to it. Jump up, and the secret platform will appear. Jump on this, then jump into the wall above. A beanstalk will appear. Climb up this to find yourself a bonus stage full of coins. Collect all these and make your way to the end for a warp to World 3. There you go. Thanks a lot. That's more than enough for now. Forty wings for me. I'll see you later on. So, some helpful hints and top tips from the Games Master and the consultation zone there. Now, please welcome back tonight's finalist, Mamoru Nomoto! <laughs> now, how did you find the first challenge? Countdown. What does that mean? It is easy. It was easy? Okay, let's hope your next one's going to be easy as well. Let's go to the Games Master, find out what your challenge is. Games Master! A bit of an exclusive for our final challenge tonight. The game is Jungle Book on the Mega Drive. Our contestant must run, jump, and swing his way through the rainforest, collecting as many points as possible on his journey. 4,000 points in one minute or less is the goal. Any less, and failure is guaranteed. So, the game is Jungle Book. Do you know the game? Yes. And uh, are you confident? Come down there. What does that mean? No problem. No problem. Good stuff. All right, then, we've you to take your place in the hot seat, get your challenge underway, yeah? 
No problem. With me in the commentary box is Jerry Doak again. How you doing? Hi, Dexter. So, Jungle Book, is this an amazing game or what? Yeah, very tough game, very good looking game. Yeah. Uphill struggle all the way, basically. He's got to shoot bananas, kill monkeys, collect fruit, collect diamonds. Enviable task, I don't fancy it myself. Okay, so Mamaroos has got to score 4,000 points in a minute or under. Let's find out if he's ready. Are you ready, Mamaru? Yeah. Okay, off you go, good luck. He's away. There's Mowgli. Okay, he's just killed a monkey. What he wants to do is push this block yeah. over to the left. We'll see it to the left. There's loads of points. If you can get straight up that vine. There it is there. What you want to do is get right up there. Looks straight fantastic, down. Fantastic, this guy. And he's 800 points. Up yeah. it goes. Oh, he's got it for there three. He goes. That's good timing. Whoa, Down good he goes. Well done, well done. Like right. Gazelle. He's got 20 seconds yeah, over gone. Over to the left now. Over the block. He wants to kill the monkey. Shoot the monkey up. Get points for the monkey, yes. Yeah, up we go. Couple of points there. Okay, I think. 30 oh, seconds he's gone. Here. He's missed the vine. He wants to go down. Make up for lost time here. Whoa. Okay. Good one. 20 down he goes. Down he goes. Down the flower. Destroys the statue. Loads of points to get over here. Right. Uh, 20 seconds left. He's well. he, he got 2,000. No. Clocking Took up the points like a loomer, yeah. yeah. Across the bridge. Over we go. Oh, yeah, 10 yeah. seconds left. More monkeys. 9. Up we go. So if you get this, he might be able to do it. No, he's tied it out. I think he's lost five, it. 5, no. 4, I 3, I'm doing it now. 2, no. 1. And that's it's it. It's all over yeah. for the boy. He didn't complete it, unfortunately. But it's a very valiant effort. Bad luck. How do you feel? I feel terrible. You do? I oh, don't feel bad. It was a tough challenge. But let's have a big round of applause for Mamaru anyway. Nice one, Mamaru. <laughs> well, after that cracking cartoon action, I can only leave you with the words of the late, great Walt Disney. Goofy's a dog, Mickey's a mouse, but you can't beat a good Donald Duck. See ya.